Over the years, the United States Air Force has developed some of the most dangerous and advanced weaponry. From crazy fighter jets to next-level drones and hypersonic missiles, but their latest weapon is something so advanced and powerful that it can destroy everything in its path. What is this weapon, and how does it operate? Join us in this video as we explore why the U.S. Air Force admitted they've created something so advanced that it will destroy everything. The power of any nation is pretty much dependent on its military might. For a long time, the United States has held the position of world power and has never failed to invest time and resources into developing advanced military equipment. The U.S. Air Force has consistently pushed the boundaries of what is possible in military aviation and weaponry, setting the pace for other world powers. Some of the earliest mind-blowing inventions of the U.S. Air Force were the fly-by-wire fighter, the F-16, in 1978 and the development of unmanned aircraft like drones. But now, the United States military has something far more powerful than all the other amazing innovative weaponry it has ever brought to warfare. It is something that makes even fighter jets seem like toys. This new dangerous weapon is called the Tactical Ultra Short Pulse Laser. Tactical Ultra Short Pulse Lasers have a long history dating back to the 1970s. So, this new weapon is not actually a new invention. Rather, it's what you would call a massive upgrade from the typical laser weapons. The U.S. Air Force has successfully made a next-generation, highly versatile weapon system that can destroy anything that stands in its way and also be integrated into various military platforms or vehicles. Both the Army and the Navy can use this weapon without modifications. And despite being in the prototype phase, the weapon has already taken the number one spot as the best thing we've ever seen in the field of advanced weaponry. The laser has already been successful in all of the field tests performed to test its capabilities, and the U.S. military is just waiting for the perfect moment, the perfect conditions to deploy this monster weapon. If war breaks out in the future, this weapon will definitely come into play. Let's take a closer look at this new laser technology and what makes it so special. The Tactical Ultra Short Pulse Laser is a dynamic weapon that shoots an incredibly powerful beam with a peak intensity up to a million times higher than the sun. This means that the beam shot from this laser is incredibly hot. The Tactical Ultra Short Pulse Laser utilizes a high-energy light beam to deliver precise, powerful strikes on its target. The beam from this weapon can cut through metal, shatter glass, and even destroy electronic systems in less than a second. The Tactical Ultra Short Pulse Laser, also called TUSPL, is housed in a compact portable frame. In fact, at first sight, you might think it is a camera or a huge stage light. But no, it's a super advanced and revolutionary laser. The compact design of this weapon was intentional so that it could be easily carried by military personnel to the field. Despite its seemingly harmless appearance, this laser can generate dangerous ultra short pulses directed toward a target. These pulses are so fast and intense that they can cut through steel and similar materials in a flash. But this weapon isn't just a destroyer. It can also be used for non-lethal warfare, such as blinding enemy combatants or disabling electronic devices. One special thing about this new laser from the U.S. Air Force is its speed. It has a pulse duration that ranges from femtoseconds to picoseconds. This implies that this laser is so fast that it can destroy a target before they even know what hit them. On average, this laser releases 1 million megawatts of energy in 200 femtoseconds. Just so you know, one femtosecond is one quadrillionth of a second. Due to the fast pulse duration plus the high beam intensity of this weapon, it cuts, welds, and even melts materials. In fact, the pulse laser is so precise that it can slice through materials without causing any heat damage to the surrounding areas. This property is very rare with laser weapons and it makes this one very ideal for a wide range of military applications such as target identification and instant point and kill. Normal lasers direct a continuous beam of focused energy on a target, but the pulse laser uses ultra-fast light flashes to destroy anything in its path. When this laser is fired, its energy gets absorbed by whatever material is being targeted, and as it makes contact, 
it causes the material to flare up and expand. The expansion from the laser's impact sends a massive shockwave throughout the material, and it also causes some tiny explosions on the surface. As this happens, the beam creates a clean and precise cut. So far, with all that has been tested with this laser, it appears that its usefulness will go far beyond just military purposes. In fact, the experts behind this superweapon believe it will revolutionize a wide range of industries. Now, I don't know if you're a fan of lasers. I mean, these things are reputable for being able to cut you in half. But don't be surprised when you start spotting them in your neighborhood parking lots or when they get integrated into home security systems. By the way, if you're wondering how this laser achieves such incredible levels of power and speed, it all boils down to the mechanics. You see, a special material is released inside that amplifies the laser's energy. This material further receives a boost via an electrical current, which causes it to emit photons. These photons are then passed through several mirrors and lenses, which shape and focus the laser beam into the concentrated ultra-short pulse that gets fired. But there's more to this weapon than just concentrated light beams. The ultra-short pulse laser also has advanced features like adjustable pulse duration and energy levels. This means you can make the pulse longer or shorter and alter how powerful you want the beam to be. These features may seem simple, but you won't find them in most lasers. The tactical ultra-short pulse laser is the next big thing in laser technology. In fact, it's something the Army has been trying to build for decades, but they have always faced complications. But now, the dream has finally been realized, and they have a laser that can release energy in petawatts in the blink of an eye. More so, the pulse laser has the rare ability to perform non-linear optical processes. In other words, it can interact with matter in unique ways. Regular lasers simply cut through or melt stuff they're fired at, but this laser can generate high-energy photons and create plasma from solid materials when it's adjusted to the right setting for this. All these functionalities make the TUSPL very intriguing, and no one knows how much this tool will be capable of when it undergoes further upgrades in the coming years. Experts have already predicted that the possibilities with this innovation could far exceed our expectations, both in the military and beyond. TUSPL field tests have shown the pulse laser's capability to take out enemy drones, disarm enemy vehicles, shoot down missiles, and instantly jam enemy communications. Currently, the laser has a range of one mile, but this is expected to increase in later upgrades. But you see, even this range is not a problem because of this laser's compatibility. As mentioned earlier, the ultra-short pulse laser can be fitted on any vehicle, jet, or ship. It is one of the most versatile military weapons ever made by man. Imagine driving a military van through an enemy battalion with this weapon mounted on top of the vehicle. You will never have to worry about shooting as it'll eliminate all targets within seconds. Truly, this tool has the power to revolutionize the military and alter the course of defense systems as we know it. Before now, the only phenomenal, next-level weaponry used by the US military was hypersonic missiles. Hypersonic missiles are special high-speed missiles that can travel at five times the speed of sound. These missiles were a very significant milestone in military advancement. Sound travels at 343 meters per second, so you can imagine how fast these missiles are at over 1,500 meters per second. You would never see them coming. The immense speed and maneuverability of hypersonic missiles made them a game-changer in modern-day warfare. The missiles come in two primary variants, the hypersonic glide vehicles and the hypersonic cruise missiles. The glide vehicle is launched into the atmosphere from a rocket, after which it glides to its targets. The cruise missile is powered by high-speed air-breathing engines that send it flying through the air till it hits its target. Both classes of hypersonic missiles are maneuverable and can maintain sustained hypersonic speeds. Due to their lightning-fast speed and incredible maneuverability, hypersonic missiles are astonishingly efficient at penetrating missile defense systems. In fact, they were the next big thing in advanced weaponry until the TUSPL came along. The tactical ultra-short pulse laser uses high-power fibers made from specially coated materials that amplify photons as it travels through them. In other words, the fibers help to strengthen the laser beam, making it even more powerful and precise. 
Thanks to these special fibers, the TUSPL laser beam can travel over 300 million meters per second. It's nearly impossible to evade this laser, which is why it's a very dangerous weapon. A weapon that is inevitable and can destroy everything is deadlier than you can imagine. But you see, thanks to these same high-power fibers, we can optimize the tactical ultra-short pulse laser to function as a non-lethal tool. For instance, it can be used to disable opponents in battle without harming them. Another advanced technology the TUSPL boasts of is its adaptive optics. This is an intuitive ability for the laser to adjust its beam to compensate for atmospheric distortions. You see, because this laser shoots out light, it is vulnerable to influence by atmospheric agents or conditions. To ensure that its intensity doesn't reduce over long distances, this laser can adjust light intensity or other factors. In other words, the laser adapts to real-time conditions to ensure that the beam remains focused and accurate irrespective of atmospheric conditions. Another interesting thing about the ultra-short pulse laser is that it is built for remote control and can adjust its wavelength. In case you're wondering why this is important or if it's in any way useful, it is. Certain materials, called black bodies, absorb wavelengths, so by altering its wavelength, the pulse laser can be effective against a wide range of materials, even those that would have normally reduced its beam power. In the same vein, it can optimize its performance for different conditions. For instance, it can produce a continuous wavelength to neutralize a black body's absorption spectrum or minimize the amount of its energy absorbed by the atmosphere. These optimizations allow the TUSPL to maintain a high power and intense beam over long distances without dissipating into the surroundings. Another thing that makes this pulsed laser more unique and dangerous is its multiple beam configuration settings. You see, the tactical ultra-short pulse laser can be configured to fire multiple laser beams, allowing it to target multiple threats simultaneously. This incredible feature, coupled with its speed and high power, makes the TUSPL an unbeatable defense weapon. It is important to note that targeting multiple targets at once doesn't in any way affect the accuracy of this laser. Both the single and multi-beam modes function with top-notch accuracy and precision. To make things even better, the US Air Force also installed a beam sweep mode. With this technology, the laser can rapidly scan an area and identify numerous targets or threats before taking them out. This ability comes in handy when there are many threats, and it will be difficult for the laser operator to target every one of them quickly. U.S. military experts have already confirmed that the TUSPL's multi-beam configurations and beam sweep mode are what make it an irreplaceable asset for the U.S. Air Force. Speaking of control, the tactical ultra-short pulse laser uses advanced control systems to operate remotely and automatically. In a complicated setup of several components, you can control, target, and fire this weapon without even being on the field. Even though it's remotely controlled, every system functions properly, and the laser always operates optimally. Typically, you can control all the systems in this laser right from the comfort of your chair at the Air Force Base. The major systems in this laser include the Laser Energy Control System and the Beam Quality Control System. The laser energy control system regulates the amount of energy transmitted through the laser. This system ensures that the laser doesn't fire off an energy beam that is too high or too low. It also monitors the temperature of the laser to ensure it isn't too hot or too cold, as this can affect its performance. Seeing how the TUSPL seems awesome, I bet you're wondering if it has any weak points or shortcomings. Well, there are a few. First, this weapon needs proper cooling. Just like any other high-energy weapon that generates heat, the tactical ultra-short pulse laser needs proper cooling, or else its heat can cause damage to the system or reduce its effectiveness in battle. Ideally, laser weapons are set to have a time duration for cooling. For instance, a laser weapon could have a firing time of 5 minutes and a cooldown time of 5 minutes. However, high-energy laser weapons are always pre-installed with internal cooling systems. To ensure that it continues to fire short light pulses without problems, the TUSPL is made with robust and advanced cooling systems. The experts behind this tool equipped it with a combination of air and liquid cooling technologies. These two cooling systems work simultaneously to remove any heat from the system. In this case, 
Air cooling is simply internal fans that rotate to circulate air around the laser component. On the other hand, liquid cooling refers to the special coolant that transfers heat away from the laser. It's important to note that this cooling system is unique, especially for a high-energy, high-focus laser weapon. Usually, high-energy laser weapons, also called HL weapons, always require chillers. These chillers have a high cooling capacity and can effectively dissipate the heat which builds up in the laser medium. The size, weight, and power of a high-energy laser system must always match the capacity of the cooling chiller. And so, this has always been a problem in the design of advanced laser weapons as the demand for cooling chillers puts constraints on the design. If the military wanted a very powerful laser that releases much heat, they would also need a large chiller to cool it down. Unfortunately, this means there's no chance of making something portable, like the TUSPL, that can be deployed on small weapon platforms. This is why most kilowatt-class high-energy laser systems manufactured over the years are stationary and not portable. However, the tactical ultra-short pulse laser's efficient and convenient cooling system has solved the decade-long problem of portable high-energy laser weapons in the military. It is equally capable of adjusting its cooling level. For instance, if it is used in cold weather, the cold temperatures will cool it, so it won't have to do much cooling. In this scenario, the laser can automatically reduce its cooling level to the minimum. Also, if it is used to fire rapid shots for prolonged hours, it will need to cool faster. In this case, it can amp up the cooling level to match the heat it generates. This auto-cooling technology allows the laser to operate at maximum efficiency any time, any day, while aiding energy conservation. The Beam Quality Control System, just as the name implies, is responsible for maintaining the quality of the laser beam. This system ensures that the beam is always focused and stable. It can detect any slight deviation and make real-time adjustments to restore the desired beam quality. The beam pointing control system is the final system of major importance in the TUSPL, ensuring that the laser beam is always pointed in the desired direction at the specified target. Since the laser isn't controlled physically, this system uses numerous sensors and algorithms to constantly detect and track its position and orientation in real time. It can also make real time adjustments to the laser's positioning to keep it on target. Together, these three advanced control systems make the TUSPL exceptional at delivering highly focused and highly stable laser beams with incredible accuracy. Right now, this tool is one of the key weapons in the arsenal of the US Air Force. And it's not just because it's a deadly automated weapon, but also because it's very handy and cost effective. You see, this laser requires minimal maintenance, even though it has a very long, usable duration. You can take down a bunch of missiles and fighter jets with this tool, and it will keep going. And this is only the beginning. Remember, this laser is still a prototype, so there's still much room for improvement. By the time it becomes conventional, we'll certainly have more advanced features than the ones listed in this video. Who knows? Perhaps the US Air Force may optimize it to shoot invisible laser beams, or imbue it to a robotic body, so it becomes something like the Iron Man Super Beam. Speaking of robots and AI, the US military is investing money and resources to develop more advanced ways of using artificial intelligence systems for its defenses and weaponry. And guess what? The US isn't the only country going down this road. Other world powers are also working hard to integrate artificial intelligence systems into their weaponry. It is well known that AI could revolutionize warfare beyond humanity's wildest expectations. So far, we have already seen the U.S. military deploy several autonomous and semi-autonomous systems. We can't say how much more terrifying this weapon will become if the United States Air Force somehow finds a way to make it supernova with AI. But we know that as technology continues to evolve, the sky will be the limit, so we just have to watch out for what will become the next mega-weapon in the U.S. military's arsenal. Thanks for watching another episode of Voyager. While you are still here, make sure to click the video on your screen for more quality content.